Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Sligo Rovers midfielder Greg Bolger ahead of the 2022 season. Take two, I got that one right. <laughs> Greg, how are you feeling ahead of the new season? Yeah, good. Uh, three seasons went well. Um, we've uh, obviously we think one more game before the season starts uh, it's gone well for us we have barely any injuries um, obviously I think Liam is trying to add, to add to the squad again still trying to get a few more bodies in but um, looking forward to it yeah yeah you know everything's kind of been made of losing Johnny Kenny and this and that but how have the new signs settled in and you know the pre-season games has everyone kind of gelled in now and have you got a settled squad ahead of the new season yeah um, obviously the two Johns that Johnny Kenny leaving and John Mann leaving is, is um, I think they get into most teams in the league so I think they'll leave a bit of a hole but um, obviously we got Aidan Keane in from Falkirk. Cork he was at Patsy we're working with him before we got Will Will uh, Will Fitzgerald and Carlos Sullivan, boys have come in, they're flying fit, ready to go. They could have started the season when they came in, look after themselves really well. Then uh, we got a son and a half in as well from, um, I think, from New Zealand, uh, Nando. That was yesterday, wasn't it? Just, yes, just yesterday. So, um, look, I, I know Liam was trying to get a few more in, but the boys are settling really well. Obviously, look, the lads are two lads that are lost, or that have left are, are a big loss, but. Um, it's the case now, especially with Johnny's goals and the way we finished the season so well that uh, we pitch in from goals from, from all over the pitch and I think that's Liam's brought in players that could do that. Um, I won't be putting any goals in the back of the net so don't worry about that but I think most of the lads will be sharing our goals, getting goals from set pieces and stuff like that. But um, yeah, no, it's gel really well. One more game at Lone now next Saturday before the big one against Bowles then. Yeah, just, you know, the last couple of seasons kind of been up and down. You had a really good season finishing in Europe. Then last year, you were with Sligo. Um, you seem to have settled in quite well. You're, you're highly regarded up there by the, by the I suppose, the staff and the fans yeah. and obviously the team as well. But um, this season, what would be a good season, do you think, for yourselves? It's going to be the same again, isn't it? It's going to be the same again for us. Listen, we know it's, 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 it's going to be hard. A lot, like, you know, League of Ireland every year is a bit of a merry-go-round. Players moving here, there and everywhere. Squads have changed. But um, I still think Shamrock Rovers are the bear. Like, they're, they're probably the favourites. And after that, then, there's, there's positions up our grab. There's going to be five or six teams fighting for that European spot. It's not going to be easy, but for our, us, our ambition has got to be the same again. Hopefully get through a round in Europe. Very disappointed last year that we went out after the first round and get a good cup run. But uh, it's got to, got to be the same again for us. And uh, it's one that we'll, what we'll be trying to do. Yeah, so it's going to be a Rovers derby at some stage uh, during the season. You've got your old buddy Shapes back. Uh, are you looking forward to coming up against him? Ah, yeah. Um, I've been chatting to him all right, asking how he's getting on. Two how's, games of golf as well. golf right? game going? Um, he's still shy. Uh, it's part of my language. But um, I was only talking to him there. I'm going to meet him after this. So um, it's a case where, yeah, I'll be looking forward to running after him. <laughs> That'll be fun. But he's always actually complimented your game, so I wouldn't imagine he likes coming up and facing you either. Yeah, well, look, I told him, uh, Shapes, I'll pick you up after, but uh, I won't be kicking you this year. Like, and he goes, I can't wait. He goes, stay away from me. Yeah. But um, I look, if I can get near him, I'll kick him. But if I can't, look, it is. But Jack's a top player. It's great to have him back in the league again. And um, once Jack is happy playing his football, um, we're all happy, you know. Yeah, well, I think, as you said, it's great for the league if you... You know, the, the eyes he brings to the league just from his quality alone, and then if he gets back in that Ireland squad, you just never know. Yeah, 100, you know, 100%. If he has said he's playing and he's happy. It's like, it's like, you know, Stephen Kenny showing that the, the league, you play well in the league regardless of where you're playing, you've got a chance to get in. And uh, hopefully Jack can get back to them levels. Obviously, Cyprus probably didn't work out for different reasons for him, but he's back now. I know Stephen, he gets on well with Stephen Bradley, and they'll do, um, they'll do the best they can for him. So hopefully Jack can get back to them levels that he was at and uh, have that chance and opportunity to get back into the higher squad because he's a top, top player and I'm sure he'd, he'd help our, our cause, you know. Yeah, I don't think you want to hit those levels against you guys. Yeah, no, That's yeah. the only thing. Not against us, but uh, in general, for him, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Greg, I just want to wish you the best luck for the season ahead. Thanks, Thanks so for your much. time, Mark. Yeah, ciao. Thanks. Top man. Ciao.